I was on top of the world. You know, I was just 21 years old. I, was, I had reached my peak as a fighter. You know, I was riding the wave. When they told me that I was gonna fight the Pan Pacific Asian champion, Dooku Kim, I knew it would be an action fight, but I felt my strength would overcome and my ability would, would, would be able to defeat him. His dressing room was right next to mine. And you could hear him screaming, ah, banging the lockers, bang, bang, bang. And the lockers were rattling. And I kind of looked at it, but I said, well, I guess we're in for a tough one today. These are the moments that you got to stay strong. Sports psychologists call it positive mental visualization. I said, hell, I always thought it was called dreaming. Certain fights, you know when you're controlling the fight. Some fights, you just have no idea. This particular fight was one of those fights. He's just fighting. So at the beginning of the 14th round, uh, I ran across the ring and I noticed that he was coming off his stool slow. So right away I jumped on him. I threw right hand, I hit him, left hook, right hand, and then a straight right hand. Caught him right on the chin and dropped him. When you see a guy go down, you feel like Hercules. You feel like a shark smelling blood. At the count of nine, he held onto the rope and pulled himself up. But then he staggered back and the referee, Richard Green, stopped it. It was the, one of the greatest moments of my career. I never knew that it got carried off by a stretcher. I never knew that until I saw it on TV. Immediately after the fight, uh, we were in my, uh, my, my hotel room. My trainer, Murphy Griffith, came up. He said, Ray, it don't look good. I said, what are you talking about? I said, this boy Kim, it don't look good. And he said, you better prepare yourself for the worst. I'm a hopeless optimist. So I heard that, but I thought, no, nah, no, nah, he's gonna come out, he's gonna be okay. Duku Kim died uh, five days after the fight. I was heartbroken, I was sad, and I was depressed. I fought for righteous reasons. I fought for the right reason. But after that fight, there was nothing righteous about it. Boxing changed forever. That championship fights went from 15 rounds to 12 rounds. G1, the son, said for a long time he had a lot of animosity and hatred towards me. I felt it was important to beat his son and young me, his fiance, because here's a woman who's expected to spend the rest of her life with this man, who basically passed at my hands. And she had nothing but good wishes for me. His son, he wanted me to finally have peace. We spent that time together, and that time is something I'll always cherish.